Episode number 16, Daggers and Diamonds. Mademoiselle Juliette, the lady love of our hero D'Artagnan, is returning to Paris by coach, while D'Artagnan and his friend Pip are riding back on D'Artagnan's trusty horse, Sandy. As they make their way home, the two friends stop to enjoy the beautiful French countryside. Just look at it! What beautiful landscape! It's marvelous! Hmm, why don't we stop a while, take some time to relax and enjoy ourselves before we go back to Paris? Mm-hmm, great idea. Can I look at that dagger the Duke of Buckingham gave you as a present? Can I, huh, can I? Sure, Pip. Ah, it's not hard to see that this is a present from a man who is both honorable and noble. This is the Buckingham family's coat of arms. Think of the power it gives you. Don't you know what this coat of arms means? It means that I am the Duke of Buckingham, so kneel down before my royal presence. Oh, that's enough of that. Doesn't the very presence of this dagger make you want to get down on your knees before me? Don't be so ridiculous, Pip. The only people I bow before are their majesties, the king and queen of France, and Monsieur Travel. And what's more, if it were absolutely necessary, I would gladly give my life for them. Only for them? I happen to know someone else you would bow to and gladly give your life for. What? Just who do you mean, Pip? Who else? Why, Juliet? Your face is like a red tomato. Huh? Oh, yes, sir. Quite red like a tomato. Red as a tomato. <laughs> and if it was the last thing I say in my life, I'd say it again. Red like a tomato. Excuse us, ma'am. Apologize. My apologies. I'm sorry if I scared you, madam. Oh, do not worry. You didn't scare me. Ah, you do have a pretty dagger, young man. Magnificent, isn't it? I don't mean to be bragging, but it's a personal gift from the Duke of Buckingham. Oh, a gift from the Duke of Buckingham. Then you must be a good friend of the Duke. I'm more than a good friend of the Duke of Buckingham. We're so close, you might even call the two of us brothers. Please, Pip, don't talk that way. Next thing you know, you'll be saying that you're the king. Do not interrupt him, I beg you. Your friend is very likable. I can see you're a woman of breeding. On the other hand, you young man are very quiet and reserved. <laughs> Who, me? Well, um, not after you get to know me. Show me then. Take me for a walk. A walk? A gentleman would escort me down to the river. The banks are very steep. Steep? Well, what should I do, Pip? Let's go. We can't refuse an offer from such a beautiful lady, right? Is your friend going to come with us? Well, I don't mind if he comes along with us. If I left him here alone, he'd probably wander off and get lost. <laughs> I understand. Let's go! <laughs> Little do Pip and Dog Canyon realize that this beautiful and seductive female is none other than Milady, Cardinal Richelieu's cunning and ruthless spy. We can be sure that this meeting was no accident. What could she be up to? Ah, there's nothing like a walk on a beautiful day. It's also romantic and picturesque. But the view from the bridge is much more breathtaking. What are we waiting for, huh? This is so beautiful. If I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. This must be what paradise is like. Oh, no! My hat! The wind blew it off! Well, don't worry, I'll get it back for you! <laughs> Hurry, Dog Canyon! Hurry up! It's getting away from you! Courage! Go, Dog Canyon! Swim for it! You're almost there! Pretend that you're a fish and not a dog! Good! You almost made it! Bravo! You got it! Good! Here! Pull him in, Sandy. We've just about saved that beautiful woman's hat. She's gone. I don't see her either. Uh, huh? 
Hmm, how strange. Where could she have gone? She left without saying goodbye. Well, that's the way females can be. Put on your clothes and let's go. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't get it. She was so interested in her hat. Hey, my dagger. What's wrong now? You left it laying there underneath your clothes. It disappeared. Hmm. 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 Oh. How very strange. Hey, Dog Canyon. Huh. It's gone, right? Seems to be. And so is that woman. I'll bet you that she stole it. What, Pip? Do you mean that lady's a thief? Think about what happened, Dog Canyon, huh? She sent us on a wild goose chase so we wouldn't see her do it. Do you mean she let her hat fall on purpose so that she could steal the dagger? There's no doubt about it. Come on, let's go and teach her a lesson. Come on! Right! You're not gonna get away with this. We'll fix her. Don't worry, Doc Canyon. She couldn't have gotten far. Say, Doc Canyon, there's one thing I can't figure out. Why would she want it? Huh? Meanwhile, Cardinal Richelieu is receiving the latest report from another of his spies, Count Rochefort. Eminence, the Duke of Buckingham has returned to England. It seems that on this occasion he has beaten us. I am truly sorry, Eminence. Don't worry. There will be more opportunities. If it's any use to you, Eminence, I would like to inform you that the Queen's diamond studs are in the possession of the Duke of Buckingham. Just what are you telling me? We didn't realize that the young woman had two packages. One contained artificial stones. So that idiot Widemere took the fake stones. Imbecilic moron. Yes, the Duke of Buckingham is in possession of the diamonds, I'm afraid, Your Eminence. There's no doubt about it. Those are the diamonds the king gave the queen on her birthday. <laughs> you don't know what joy you have given me. I'm sorry, I don't understand. The queen has made a terrible mistake which will cost her dearly. Hmm? You may enter. Pardon me for interrupting, Eminence. On the contrary, your arrival is timely. I have a very important mission for you, milady. I want you to leave immediately for England. I am at your service. The queen gave the duke 12 diamond studs. I want you to go to England and bring them back. Yes, your eminence. Above all, use discretion. I don't want any trouble. I know my job. This is very important to me. I want it accomplished as quickly as possible. Don't worry, eminence. Now it becomes clear why Milady stole the dagger. It bears the coat of arms of the Duke of Buckingham, which will open certain doors that otherwise would be closed to her. Meanwhile, our hero, having lost his most valued possession, rides sadly into town. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are you going? Oh, hello, Athos. I'm on my way home. I don't feel very good right now. We were just going to walk down to your house, my friend. What's wrong, Dog Tanyon? You don't seem your cheerful self today. Mm -hmm. Some woman stole the dagger the Duke of Buckingham gave the Dog Tanyon. A lady thief stole his dagger? Was she pretty? Athos, is this necessary? But what did I do? What you're always doing, Athos. You spend all day thinking and talking about women. Isn't it about time you grew up? How did she get away? Didn't you chase her? Of course I did. But she still got away, right? Mm-hmm. We're going to help you find that lady thief, so put a smile on that face. Cheer up. <laughs> Tell us, what did she look like, eh? Huh? <laughs> So she's the culprit? That's the one, Dog Tanyon, are you sure? Let's go! Come on, come on, come on! Hey, you! Get up! Giddy up! Hey, come here! I want my dagger! Hey! Come, my beauty. No. Come on, come on. No. Hey, uh, hurry up, oh. hurry up. Yeah. Faster, faster, she's getting away. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh. Come on, yeah. Sandy. Faster. Yeah. Oh. All right, you oh, ready? Hurry. Oh. 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 Thanks. Thank you. 
to get you? Huh? <laughs> D'Artagnan has his dagger back, but can he catch this cunning thief? <laughs> uh, uh. Let's go, Sandy. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. I've caught a cold. My friends, I do think we must appear as a most ridiculous spectacle. You're right, Aramis, and all because of the clever lady thief who made us all look like silly fools. Oh, it's all my fault. I am so sorry I dragged all of you into this mess. Don't be silly, Dog Tanyan. Don't you remember one for all and all for one, my friend? Look on the bright side of things, Dog Tanyan. You've got your dagger back, which the Duke gave you as a present. Mm, I guess you're right. By the way, can you make any sense of all this madness? Hmm, that's a very good question, because to me, she doesn't look anything at all like an ordinary thief. Maybe she isn't a thief at all, but a spy for Cardinal oh. Richelieu. Richelieu's spy. I think that's it, Porthos. I can't understand why she wanted that dagger in the first place. God bless you. Cardinal Richelieu's clever spy, the mysterious woman in black, known only as Milady, is on her way to England to steal the diamond studs from the Duke of Buckingham. Let's hope he doesn't fall for any of her cunning tricks. Meanwhile, back at the palace, Cardinal Richelieu is hatching yet another scheme. I believe a grand ball with exquisite music, fine wines, and good food thrown in Her Majesty's honor would please the Queen immensely. Hmm. Your kind gesture will not only please your wife, but all of the rest of the members of court as well, Your Majesty. All of them but me. I'm sure you will be pleased as well, Your Majesty. Just what exactly do you mean? It is very simple, Majesty. Do you remember those diamond studs which you gave Her Majesty as a present on her birthday? Yes, they are quite valuable. She has yet to wear them in public, and this occasion would be the perfect opportunity to do so. It's true, Her Majesty will look absolutely ravishing wearing those stones. You have come up with a wonderful idea, Richelieu, my congratulations. I'm glad you agree, Your Majesty. I am sure the Queen will enjoy herself immensely. Hmm. Ah, oh, how beautiful. <laughs> you are amazing. All the odds are in your favor. I can just picture the queen at the moment we expose her to scandal. <laughs> <laughs> That blasted bird! Inside the palace, we find Juliet trying to comfort a distraught Queen Anne. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm ruined, Juliet. Somehow the Cardinal has found out what I've done. <laughs> oh, please don't cry. If I can help you in any way, please tell me. Remember the diamond studs I gave the Duke of Buckingham as a present? The king gave them to me personally. If I don't wear them to the ball, it will cause a scandal. This must be the doings of Cardinal Richelieu. I don't know how the Cardinal found out about it, but at this moment my reputation is at stake and I don't know what to do. Hmm. Tell me, dear Juliet, what can I possibly do? Send someone to England to ask the Duke for the diamond studs so you'll be able to wear them on the night of the ball. But there's no one. Your Majesty, I know this mission is important, but I have a friend that I am certain we can trust. Thank you, Juliet. I'm grateful for your help. Majesty. Juliet is aware that help is needed urgently. The Duke of Buckingham is the Prime Minister of England, and therefore one of the most powerful men in all Europe. If it becomes known that the Queen has given him the diamond studs, many in France will think she is a traitor and unfaithful to her husband, King Louis. She must find help, and she must find it quickly. Ah, and now we add the pasta slowly. Hmm. There. Hmm. And now the fun part. Uh-huh. Ah! Ha -ha. Ah! Hmm. Good! Whoa, yes! Nicely done, nicely done! Hey, you do that better than the chefs at the Royal Palace! Mmm. 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 Oh. 
Nice flipping, monsieur. Bravo, Dog Canyon. Go get him. Bravo. Come in. It is I, Julia. No! Oh, my ears are burning. Oh, come in. Huh? Juliet, what's wrong? I need your help. You must go to England immediately. What? To England? But what for? Yeah. No. You must perform a very important mission for the Queen. The King wishes her to wear certain jewels to the Royal Ball. And those jewels are the diamond studs she gave to the Duke of Buckingham as a present. Mon Dieu! Sounds like she's in trouble. Oh, I'll bet the Queen is very worried about all this. Please, Doug Tanyon. You must go to England and beg the Duke to let you return with the diamond studs. Huh? Alone? <gasps> Doug Tanya, huh? I have only one friend in the world that I can trust, and that friend happens to be you. Come on, what are you waiting to say yes for? You know you'd do anything for Juliet. Don't worry, Juliet, he's going to do it. Watch. Say yes to her. Yes, I shall do everything I can for you and the Queen. See, I knew it. There was never any question about it. Yeah, let's go, huh? Come on, <laughs> yeah. Wait, I can't go to England just like that, you know? It would be a lack of respect to Monsieur Treville, so I better get permission from him before I go. It sounds like a good plan to me, but hurry up, and while you're going to see your captain, Monsieur Treville, I'll start to pack up all our belongings. Agreed, Pip. That's a good idea. Don't you worry about a thing. Go on now. <laughs> I'll take care of everything. Thank you so much, my friend. Mm-hmm. I'll be back. Yeah! Hooray! Sailing! Sailing! Yahoo! <laughs> Woo! Oh! Ah! 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 Dusty. What's that for? You see, I don't sleep very well without my special pillow. Ah -ha. Ah -ha. Mm. Dog Tanyon, you may have my permission. Well, thank you very much, sir. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be safe to go alone, so the three musketeers will accompany you. You mean Porthos, Athos, and Aramis, Captain? That's right. This special permit is good for the four of you, and with it you can travel to England safely. Thank you again, Monsieur Treville. Goodbye, sir. I wish you the best of luck, my lad. Thank you. I'm confident he'll come back with the Queen's diamonds. Monsieur Porthos! Monsieur Porthos! Monsieur Porthos! Master Dog Tanya needs you immediately! See how strong he is? Amazing! Isn't he just gorgeous? Monsieur Athos, my master wishes to speak with you. Monsieur Aramis! My master needs you urgently. He's waiting for you. The three musketeers are wondering why Dog Canyon has called them so urgently. It must be awfully important. Little do they know that what Dog Canyon has in store for them is a trip to England and a very important mission. A journey that will involve them in a great adventure. Yay! It's been a long time since I've had the chance to really enjoy myself. Don't take this so lightly. We are not going on a leisurely pleasure trip. Don't worry, I know that. Now listen to me. I don't think the Cardinal's henchmen are going to let us travel to England peacefully. We must be prepared to fight along the way. I realize that. I said enjoy myself. The more fighting, the better. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> well, friends, one for all. And all for one! Ready, Sandy! <laughs> Thanks for the leg up, Sandy. Be careful, sir, and I wish you all the very best of luck. I have faith in you. Good luck.
Don't worry, Juliet. I promise you I will be back in time for Her Majesty the Queen to wear those diamonds. All right, then. Shall we go? Right! Yeah! Go, Sandy! Hey, hey, hey. Yeah! Oh, D'Artagnan, do be careful. I care about you so much. Will D'Artagnan and the Three Musketeers arrive in England in time to accomplish their important mission, or will Cardinal Richelieu interfere in some cunning way? They must come back with the diamond studs in time for Her Majesty the Queen to wear them at the ball given in her honor. Don't forget that Milady is already on her way to England to try and steal the diamonds from the Duke of Buckingham. We can only be sure that our heroes will do their best to get the job done, for they've sworn one for all and all for one. In our next episode, we will see what happens to our friends as they travel from Paris up to Calais, where a ship bound for England awaits them. Disaster may be in store, for Cardinal Richelieu is deploying a great many of his guardsmen at the most strategic points in the road in a desperate attempt to stop them. <laughs>